was in Pak Se Lao, and I'm on my way to Cambodia to see Siem Reap, and it's like a 12 hour journey. So basically all today, all new traveling, and I'm just enjoying myself as we go here. And I took a van for like three hours, give or take. I'm not, not too sure what time it is, it's probably around, we left at like 8 a.m. for Pak Se, and she's like, oh yeah, bus, bus to Siem Reap. Uh, and I'm like, okay, but she said he had to transfer a couple times to the lady at the hostel. So I get off the bus, literally middle of nowhere. I don't even know how far we are from the border. And they got the bus, like, all right, who's going to Cambodia? And it's just me, and this is my ride. And so I get to the border, he dropped me off there. I assume I walk to the border, and I, I guess there's gonna be someone waiting for me on the other side, just taking his seat on reef. I know they transfer a, a couple times, at least more than once though, I'm pretty sure, so. Unless we launch another one, that makes sense, I think there's three, so yeah. Just unreal, so I got, I got a speaker here. I can't play the music because I like popular claims on YouTube and stuff like that, but uh, classic music, listening to the tunes in our drive down. Literally, I'm in the middle of Laos, all the way to Cambodia, like this middle of nowhere. I like, absolutely, like, not nowhere, but just like, it's a Canadian. Pretty far out here, it's hilarious, man. Yeah, life doesn't get any more different than this, and like, I'm doing really good recently, man. I'm just enjoying my own vibe, doing my own thing, and like, I, I can't stop smiling. Messaging friends and shit back home, we'll see what they're up to, and uh, yeah, they enjoy it so well, man. So, so well, and I really think it's good. Um, there's something that's good, raw, natural, and different life that we can hear, like, it's hard to put into words. It's hard to put into words. I, feeling you get when you're out here like a couple times along my trip I, I felt lost but right now I just took the worst of myself and I, I don't give up I don't get blind fuck I have to run anything uh, whatever
cardio order on foot again. This is the third time I've crossed on foot at the border. It was the first time I did it going from Malaysia to Thailand. It was some big deal to me. Now I'm just like, all right, whatever, just walk across. It's nice too, you don't have to worry so much. This is Canadian, like, they just know you're gonna travel and look around. They, they really know the worries, it seems like, usually. All right, let's do this. Pop Jai, oh my gosh. Bye, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Cheers, man. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Have a good one. Time, yeah, see you next time. See you soon. <laughs> Hello. You over there? Yeah. Hello. Uh, Cambodia? Passport? Yeah. Pretty tough to film the border. Uh, well, I mean, you shouldn't really, to be honest. They always tell you not to. Uh, but we made it out of Lao. Um, I'm guessing this is Cambodia right in front of me. Honestly, absolutely no idea. I just said thumbs up and I was like, okay, I guess I should start walking this way. I'm quite confident someone's here to pick me up though. I see a couple cars around, so let's hope so. I just don't really want to wait too long because it's kind of hot out and I got my stuff. We'll see, we'll see. I do see a truck parked here, so. Thanks, Lau. Hop Jai. On to Cambodia. All my stuff on my back, hat on, passport in one hand, camera in the other. Cambodia? Guess we're walking. Cambodian welcome party. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stare at you. I'm genuinely more afraid of the cows than I think anything out here else. I'm more afraid of the cows than the people. Those things will walk across the road. You hit one of those on a scooter and like you're you're losing that battle. Um, they just walk into the road. Cows kill more people here than sharks, and I understand why now. Quite the uh, entrance building, though. What I don't really understand is like the road is like pretty crappy, and then they have this massive, nice building. It's like what? Cool, someone offered me a ride, but tough shit. I'm not getting that luxuries out here. This, this is a day where the camera's really nice to have because you're just on your own walking to camp. Literally, it's, um, like it's Cambodia, like just walking there. <laughs> I've walked into Thailand, Laos, and Cambodia, which is the most just incredible thing ever. Like, I, I can't believe I, I can say I, I've done that. There's one dude just standing at the fence here. Two scooters, maybe it's one for me. Are we sick? Quite the welcoming party. The thing is too, is like everyone knows you're obviously not from here, so they're usually very helpful and they're like, yeah, just keep going that way. Okay, well we made it across the first two people. I think now I'm heading to the building here, probably to get a visa or something of the sort. That's kind of the only word he said. 
He said, visa, and he said, okay, and he pointed to where he's building, so. I will say though, that if I was trying to sneak into countries, this wouldn't be very hard to do. Like, I bet they have cameras and fences and they, they watch out, like, but like, under the cover of darkness, walk through the forest, like, you could do it. You could definitely do it. It's more of a why type of thing. If I ever need, need to disappear, this is, this is the way. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off again now. I think I'm heading into the visa building here. Thank you, thank you. Back on the wake. Yep. You're good, yeah. Cool, other people, nice. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, good sir. Four, four people. Four people, four people. I'm the fourth. Oh, okay. 